It's the one and only. Oh, man. Okay. She then held her electrified arm against the door lock. So what's up guys, my arse here, and welcome back to Final Nights of Anime, the last location. Guys, it really does feel awesome that there's a Fania novel, not just called Fania, the visual novel. Anyway guys, we're back, because it's already been updated, awesome stuff to be had here. If you guys haven't seen that first episode, check it out, links in the description down below. But last time, we were told by Henry of all people that, yeah, we've been trapped here with the girls, there's no way out, bada bim bada boom, what are we gonna do about it? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out in this episode here. Let's hope nobody heard that! Oh no! Um, everyone had all their ears open on that Henry recording there, but Laura, how you doing? We are gonna get scrapped! Oh, Nedbear too, apparently. We're gonna get scrapped? Candy Cadet. Oh, hello, what are you doing here? That's random. We have to tell the others, but it would just cause everyone to panic! Put, but, but together, it's easier to create an escape plan. Um, if you say so. I will, I will tell it to Baby, Rocks or Freddy, and Funtime Chica. You just tell the rest. You then run through the building to find them. So yeah, everyone uh, knows what the heck's going on right now. Panic is ensuing, guys. They all know that we're stuck here. Oh, we got most of the girls right now. Sometime later, you catch them in one of the halls. Oh, hi, Jake. I heard Belora screaming. What happened? Okay, um, I don't know how to explain it. Say it. Um, well, the company wants to scrap you tomorrow. Just for money. Funch and Chica then falls on the ground. <gasps> Looks like she's unconscious. Rooks of Freddy was trembling hard. The only baby was just standing there without any reaction. Are you scared too, baby? Because I am. There's no need to be scared. You're going to save us, right? Um, um, uh, I'm just a oh-so-weak human. Um, I, I don't know if I can. She shuddered one second. What if we just call everyone together? It could be easier to find a solution. I think Nedbear already suggested this. Anyways, let's go. Randomly, like, yeah, last episode we met up with Rockstar Freddy, Fund of Chica, Scrap Baby here. But we didn't know of Belor or Nedbear or anything. They just randomly appeared. <laughs> what? Only 50 minutes later, every animatronic around in your office. <laughs> I suppose in this scenario, Molten Freddy is her own thing. I guess, sure, why not? We got Funtime Freddy, Lefty, Belor. We saw her earlier, Funtime Chica. We got someone else behind them. Can't quite make out who that is, though. So, uh, everyone knows why we're here, right? Yes. So, we need some ideas to escape the convention before tomorrow. I think the company comes at six, so, uh, scrap you all. And that would be unbearable! Okay, Ned Bear coming out with the, yeah, okay. Everyone turns their head to Ned Bear while the Bonnie Hand Puppet starts to laugh. What, the last thing we need is a bad atmosphere. I could throw Bonbon out of a skylight and then she could open the door from outside. I, I think that could work. If we even had windows in this building. We don't have windows. I think that explains why the restrooms are smelly all the time. You then dis discuss into the night. Lefty suggests that everyone should sleep for now. And then tomorrow. And that tomorrow still. And that tomorrow there's still a lot of time. The grammar guys. Like the devs. Like apparently German. So. Yeah the writing isn't clear as day or anything. But still pretty good you know. Every robot then goes back to their rooms. Only baby stays. Oh man hello. Ah so Jake. What are we gonna do now? I, um, I really don't know. Well, we didn't have much time to get to know each other, so how about we do it now? Uh, I, I don't mind. Nice. She then sits down on a mattress she bought for the discussion. Okay. <laughs> you then sit down on the opposite side of the mattress. You can start with a question if you want. Hmm, okay. What happened to your hand? Can you tell me about your past? Hmm, I don't really want to discuss about her hand and whatnot. Could get on her angry side, guys, and then, yeah, she may use said hand against us, you know? So I'm just gonna ask about her past, although that could be a touchy subject. Well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Ask about her past. I was the star of the Location Circus Baby's Pizza World. 
but then it was closed down because one of the tables broke and fell on the kid. Oh, May. So they sued us. <laughs> May, oh, May. The drama right here. Then Circus Baby's anime rentals was opened. But after some time, nobody wanted to rent us. So the rental service closed down too. So I ran away. Oh, okay. Now it's my turn. What's your favorite thing about me? Oh, that was... was was that it? <laughs> we don't get to know more about why the heck you're looking like that? No? Okay, that's kind of what I wanted to find out, but... Whatever. We have, we have three options. One of them that's kind of hidden that you guys probably guessed, like... <laughs> of course it's your Osu fan. Fabulous. Humongous round. Uh, I'm not gonna lose eyeballs. Like, I mean, I don't know much about your personality, so I'd be lying if I said that. So, going for those eyeballs. Like, why not? <laughs> I guess that's a good choice as well. Now it's my uh, Looks like she already fell asleep. She like bored guys. Did I, did I choose the wrong thing? Like, I made her fall asleep saying that I like those big old out round eyeballs. <laughs> Maybe. I think I should sleep too. You lay besides baby and start slumbering. Tomorrow is another day. Oh, man. Who's that question marked person that's talking right here? Golden Freddy or something? I mean, it wasn't yellow. Ten hours later, you wake up in the hope that everything that happened wasn't a dream. Because that's what normally happens in these stories. Luckily, you still lie besides your robotic... She's my girlfriend right now? I didn't know that we were like... Okay, apparently so. <laughs> you then tap on her shoulder to wake her up. Good morning, cutie. Today is the day. She seemed very happy for the fact that she's she's used she's uh, used to get scrapped today. You then eat some breakfast, pizza, and go to the entrance of the, the faculty. What are we gonna do now? Ah, yeah, we can just break the door. H haven't we already tried that? Who's Enna? Like Ennard? Is that who that is right there? You then see a yellow person emerging from the darkness. It's the one and only. Oh, man. Okay. Um, that's kind of well high. I was suspecting because, yeah, there's golden question marks. Okay. I thought it would have been more so like Golden Freddy, but no, it's straight up Fredbear. What's he doing here, guys? Fredbear? We haven't seen you in ages. Where have you been? I've been hiding Hide in the shadows, shadows waiting, waiting to help, help you when the time comes. comes. So you can open up the door. No, no I, just I just know, know how, how to open it. it. And we got like, we've even got like Balloon Babe and everything here. <laughs> so we haven't quite seen them, but they're apparently around. And how? We need an, an extremely, extremely controlled, controlled shock. shock. Where do we want to get a controlled shock from? I know it. Everyone looked at her. She was holding an axe. I waited really long for this. With those words spoken, she slammed the axe into the joint her claw was attached to. She then held her electrified arm against the door lock while screaming loudly. She then passed out. 30 minutes later, so baby kind of like sacrificed herself. Is, is that what kind of happened there? You know, to get us out? You and Aerotronics arrived at your house. So this is where you live. Looks fa- okay, there's like Ned Bear in full like motion. Awesome, okay. Looks fancy. Could everyone please wait in this room? I need to make a call. You then walk to your bedroom and call John. Ring ling! Hey, uh, Jake, finally got a job? How did you know? You didn't call me for two days. Oh. Anyways, I need some money again. <sighs> again? But why? Um, well, I kind of I have over 20 animatronics in my house. <laughs> I told you that your 25 replacement vacuums don't count as robots. No, I actually have over 20 anime robots in my house. Anime robots? That means... Yeah. Whoa, where did you get them? I just, um... I took them with me. So that means you're a criminal? I just saved them! The company wanted to scrap them! Okay, wait a sec. I'll just transfer some money onto your credit card. Thanks, I'll pay it, I'll pay it back someday. <laughs> We were initially meant to pay him back, you know, with the job we actually, yeah, went to. But, it, obviously, yeah, you guys know how that turned out, but... <laughs> now we gotta get another job, basically. Yeah, yeah, now do whatever you wanted to do with the money. He then hung up. 
Time to fix your robot girlfriend. Six hours later. Maybe? Maybe are you awake? Hey, all right, it's all fixed up. Like, she's the regular version. That's kind of neat. What, what happened? Um, I repaired you. You saved everyone. Yeah, you kind of, like, sacrificed yourself. Like, you, like, took off your arm or something. <laughs> you, you saved us, basically. I, I, I did. I think I lost part of my memory. But everything else works, so that's good. Where are we? We are in my workshop, aka my garage. My, my car should be in if I would have one. So we are at your home. Yeah, 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 we are. Have you any plans for today? I think we can watch TV with the other girls. Oh, okay. Um, no, I wouldn't have much much choice either. You both then leave the garage and walk into your living room. I'm loving how our living room's oh so re realistic. <laughs> the contrast. <laughs> It's like, with all these anime girls and then a realistic setting. <laughs> Bizarre. Oh, baby, you're like new. Yeah, Jake fixed me. Now I didn't have this heavy claw anymore. So, you wanted to watch some TV? Who wants to join? You then spend the rest of the day watching the Immortal and the Realist and other good shows. Wow. And apparently the FNAF show. <laughs> with your only, one and only host, Dooku. <laughs> All right, we're gonna like see some interviews with the voice actors. <laughs> that's so random. <laughs> okay, so that's what humans watch. Well, yeah, how was it? It's interesting. Ring, ring. Oh, the doorbell. Who would it come at this time? Nobody was there. Only a letter was lying in front of the door. You kind of already knew what it could be. It was a letter from the Fazbear Company. You have to come into Law Court because you stole the animatronics. Just quickly call someone who could help. Next day, you're open the courtroom. Dang! We're, call, we're courting it up right here. But, like, we saved them and they wanted to, like, destroy us off. They, they should be the ones to be sued, guys, for misleading me into a night guard shift and then actually having me trapped there to die. Your witness is already there. Of course. Hi there, phone guy. Literal phone guy. <laughs> Hello there, former employee. You only have a phone for your head? I thought this was a joke. Yes, don't ask how this happened. Okay. You were just open to a really huge mess. Did you know that? Uh, well, I didn't want to get trapped in a fast food restaurant. Yes, I know. Yeah, I don't want to get trapped in a fast food restaurant, okay? I don't want to have a, a rotary phone for my head, you know. Anyways, we have a lawsuit to win. One boring trial later. I declare Jake Brown for not guilty. Of course, like, how could we, how could we not win? Hey, we won. Thanks for the help, uh, phone guy. Please just call me Scott. Okay, apparently that's Scott now. <laughs> okay, Scott. I guess you can go home now and do with the robots and do with the robots whatever you want. I guess I need to find a job now. Don't worry, I have an idea. After you came home, you opened your new business. Jake and Co. Anime Rentals. It's quite successful. Almost every day the robots are rented, but you're still never alone. Spring Barney, Golden Freddy and Fredbear all stay because they were in the show business long enough. And uh, Molten Freddy also stay as they are withered and stuff. Baby also stays too. Not that she has to, she just wants to. And then there's... Candy Cadet. I am I am Candy Cadet. Yeah, he is here too. And the other candy guy. We all know that candy cadet. We got both the candy bros, alright. <laughs> Lots of candy. All in one, your life is pretty cool. That's it. No funny sentence. That's just it. Congratulations, you got the baby ending. Okay. That was kind of random. We escaped the establishment, guys, and took the girls back home. We won the, like, court thing, and yeah, we made our own business with the base. Kind of a happy ending, I guess. Your thing is <laughs> fabulous. Anyway, guys, I suppose that's pretty much it. This gets updated on more routes. You know what's going to happen.